Okay, this is the grape toss that we did yesterday. Okay. It's really bad quality though because it was on. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet. I need to. Okay. Oh, there's no sound on it? Whoever. Oh, maybe. Let me go to the other one. Maybe there's sound on this one. Um, sorry. This is a ghetto. Oh, here. This is last night at the office. It's really bad quality. I missed that one. But look at this. But you can't see the grape, though. Hey. I got wow. it. In my mouth. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yes. I catch grapes. No wonder you got this job. You know, is that part it takes of the test to hard the work. It's on my resume. Grape toss eater. <laughs> so what's this, what's this new show that you're doing? What's the name of the All show? Right, when does so it so there are two shows. One is called Open House LA. Should I be looking at you? Whatever you want to do, you can um, So there's two TV. shows. One's called Open House LA, and it's a real estate show, kind of like Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. We cover houses that are a million up in the LA area, and we follow people on the hunt for real estate. And these are obviously millionaires. Like in this coming episode that's um, airing tomorrow night, which is our premiere episode, one of the women we follow, her budget is something under 20 million. So it's pretty fun and you know, it really shows the glamour of LA life and with real estate being such a big deal these days, whether people can buy or not buy, I think people just like, it's the eye candy of real estate and it's really fun to watch. That's from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. every Saturday, NBC Channel 4. Then right after that is a show called First Look LA, which is a lifestyle show where we cover the hot spots in LA um, everywhere you would want to go, LA lifestyle and culture, restaurants, spas, um, shopping, anything lifestyle related, you can see it on the show. And we have we like have exclusive restaurant openings. We go behind the scenes of um, hot spots in LA, all of it. Like That's bars, first look bars, LA, yeah, seven thirty PM to eight PM right. every Saturday, and we see four. So how did you get this job? Um, casting couch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me I'm more. I'm kidding. No, I was working. I've been working for LX TV, which actually started as a broadband site in uh, a year and a half ago. Which or TV? Two years ago. LX? It was LX TV. LX. It started actually as Code TV, and then it, we switched it to LX TV. And originally, it was kind of like a video version of the Daily Candy, and we updated daily with different videos of shopping, restaurants, lifestyle in LA. Um, and we also have the sites also out of New York. And basically, um, it was for people that are, you know, young, have a lot of money, are the trendy jet setters that want to find out where the be best places are to eat, shop, and do whatever they want and live, basically. Um, and so we have that in New York. Um, this is my dad, he just got in town. Say hello. Should I say hello? Hello? Hi, are you in town? Yay! This is my, I'm just, someone's doing an interview for their site on, on the show. And me. Okay, it's uh, 1428 North Gower. One four. Oh, okay. North Gower Street. G-O-W-E-R Street. Okay. LA, um, just come to the, come there and then I'll get you. Call me, all right? Yeah, no, LA, California, Los Angeles, or Hollywood, California, right, Hollywood. All right, all right, bye. My dad's in from Montreal. How often does he come in? Not, I haven't seen him in a few months. He since comes every the, few months. Since the Naked Ambition? Uh... Yeah, October since then, 22nd. since October. So he's coming in to see the show because it's only in LA. And um, yeah, so how did I get this job? All right, back to how I got the job. So LX TV, yeah, it's been a site. Uh, we've been doing video on the site for almost two years. LX.TV. It was LXTV.com, LX.com. Okay. We also have um, a whole office. We're based out of New York. Right. And 
we've been doing this for two years, and then we launched th these two shows in New York on NBC locally as well, probably almost a year ago. Um, and it started doing really well there, and then basically NBC acquired the company in January. And now we're rolling out in every major city these two shows. So LA's this next step, and then they're looking at Chicago, San Francisco. We're basically going to hit up every big affiliate, every big city, and create um, city-centric programming, local programming, but really high-end, national quality. Hopefully this will be, you know, at the end, all these affiliates will come together and make a national show. That's hopefully the goal here. Um, so that's basically how I got the job. I was part of the family, and ha thankfully they uh, kept me on. <laughs> So how much of these shows are a reflection of what your genuine interests are? I literally live the lifestyle. Like, that's why when we were, you know, when this went to TV and I wasn't sure if I was going to be continuing on with it, it was actually very emotional to me because I felt so much part of it, part of the brand and vision. I'm a total foodie coming from Montreal. I love, like, everywhere I go to cover, I want to eat it all and I just want to stay, stay there and, like, really experience it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, because you have cameras there, you sometimes can't really like sit there and have a drink and chill out for an hour but um this is i think the reason why i'm the host is because this is the lifestyle i i live as well and i you know my friends are living this lifestyle too and yeah it just doesn't whatever we cover is something i would do normally so you're like sarah jessica parker in sex i'm like sarah stage. jessica except i don't have a sex column <laughs> Not yet? No, yeah, I don't yet. I would do a Q&A column. A date on dating? I would do, yeah, on dating or just like ask anything. Really? I think that'd be fun. Why yeah. be specific with dating? It's boring. Uh, so, yeah, I live it. I live the lifestyle, baby. So out of all those things that you cover, which is most interesting to you? Out of everything? Yeah, I think like, it's all it like... Tacos? Is it... Oh, tacos. I love clubs, the restaurants, to be honest. I love meeting the chefs and then you meet the managers and because we all eat, I mean, eating is such an essential part of living. So if anything, that's a bigger part of my life than the hot spots. It's not like you need to go there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and so I just really, really love meeting, you know, the people that are making up the city, like the, sh you know, the people that are the owners of the restaurants and the clubs mm -hmm. and everything because that's what LA is all about it's not I mean there is the celebrity aspect to it and I'm so much a part of that and I do a lot of celebrity entertainment reporting but I think what really makes up the city are the people that are like making it you know function which is the restaurants and and the clubs and the spas and the shopping and that's what the city's about as well so but I do love the free meals, going out and having a good meal. Oh, so great. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> That's some of my favorite stuff, I think, like covering the restaurants because you get all the tasting, the tastings of everything, and you try all the different wines, and it's really indulgent. It's fun. So when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be an actress, but... I think this definitely, um, and then I didn't like it. Like I started auditioning when I was like, you know, 14 or 15 and I hated the process and then I wanted to produce and I was like, I'm gonna be behind the camera. I don't want people to judge me and blah, 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 blah. And I think this is actually a great balance of both because I put my production skills um, into what I do. I write all my own scripts and um, I perform those still, but I'm just kind of a bigger version of myself on camera. So that's, and it's performing in many ways. And I still have the spotlight on myself. <laughs> if but I'm a, connecting with people. If a 10 is a total introvert and a zero is a total introvert, where are you on a zero to 10 scale? Introvert or extrovert? Oh, 10 is an extrovert? A 10 is a total extrovert, just all extrovert. And a I don't know. I think I'm a good introvert. balance. Honestly, I'm such where a good are you? balance. Where are you? Where an are eight? Five? Or an five? Eight? Yeah. I don't know. It really depends because, yeah, I don't, I'm not that crazy. Like, I'm not here when you're doing an interview and being like, oh my God. Right. So, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just naturally not like that. I think it's because I'm sincere and this is just sincere energy. And sometimes literally I'm hyperactive and crazy and off the wall. And then sometimes I'm not. And that's just what I'm feeling that day. And that's, but I do think a lot of people would say if they describe me that I have a lot of energy and they think I'm a bit off the wall. And so that's why when I'm down a bit or when I'm tired, they're like, what's wrong with you, Shira? Are you okay? And I'm like, I'm just tired.
you know, 